Hey guys, it is Cyber Monday and I was expecting a deal on the Sony a7 III, but unfortunately I am not able to find anything. The best I did was I found a deal on a bundle for the a6000, uh, which I'll link down below on Amazon. Anyway, this video I am going to be checking out a lens sent to me by Makey. This is a 25mm f2.0 lens and it looks very, very interesting, at least from the box. So let's check out how it comes packaged first. All right, and this is the box that it comes in, standard Makey packaging, white, nice picture of the lens on the front, 25 millimeter. This is an APS-C lens, uh, f2.0 multi-coated, and another picture on the back. So once you open it up, you get some foam padding, a nice, microfiber carrying pouch, no branding on it, and the lens itself. In addition, you get standard warranty guarantee card and then a little white microfiber uh, cloth to keep it clean. So let's open this thing up. So let me take this plastic lens cap off, branded Makey, just plastic, and then a lens hood. Take that off. This thing is also just simple plastic, no coating on the inside, but it does have some nice ridges. And here is the lens. I have to say it looks very nice. It looks like a, uh, a step above um, the other kind of inexpensive lenses that are in this focal length. Around the front, Makey branded, uh, multi-coated 25 millimeter 2.0. Uh, minimum focusing distances are 0.84 of a foot, 0.25 of a meter, and then 55 millimeter filter thread. No electronic connections. This is a manual only lens. And then you have two rings here at the bottom, a very smooth, very nicely damped aperture ring. It goes from F2 all the way to F22. Nice markings, very clear and easy to see. And then the focus ring, which is also marked and you get quite a bit of rotation here actually let's see i would say that's three quarters of a full turn so quite a bit of adjustment and at 25 millimeter i don't think that it's going to be very difficult to nail focus one thing that i have to mention is that the finishing on this especially around these parts is much much nicer than um, the normal stuff that you're used to from makey it just looks like there's kind of a glossy piano finish around this lens, makes it look a lot more premium than other Makey lenses that I've seen. Uh, let me give you a shot of the aperture blades opening and closing. So very excited to mount this on the camera and see what sort of images we get. So let's do that next. And here it is on my A6000. It looks nice and premium. The finishing looks amazing on it. Uh, and it does make the camera look nice and expensive. It is a long lens, however. It's a bit longer than the Sigma 30 millimeter. For comparison, there you go. And it is a heavy lens as well. I weighed this thing at 415 grams. So uh, not the lightest lens in the world, but um, I am excited to see how it performs. So let's take a look at some sample photos and videos using this lens on my a6000.
So that is it for the sample photos and videos. And I'm gonna say this, this is the best Makey lens that I've ever tested. This is, I think, the best lens that they make um, simply because of how well constructed it is. The finishing is excellent, as I mentioned multiple times now. The focus ring is just perfectly damped, very smooth, very easy, has a ton of um, space for focusing. Minimum focusing distance is very nice and short. The aperture ring is also very, very smooth. I would have preferred a clicked aperture instead of the declicked option here, simply because when you're using this lens out, both of these rings are so smooth and similar feeling that on occasion you might mistake one for the other. Optically, I think the images are great, as are the colors. 25 millimeters is a very usable focal length. It's good for everyday use. You can use this indoors, you can use it outside, you can use it as a street photography lens. Uh, if you get close enough to your subject, you can use it as a decent portrait lens as well. Um, great for group shots, as you guys saw in the sample photos. So it's very usable. Distortion is well controlled on this lens. Wide open at f2, images look great in the center. They're nice and sharp. In the corners, they're decent, but they are a little bit soft. There is quite a bit of chromatic aberration as well in the center and in the corners if you're shooting against a bright backdrop, as you would expect. This lens is very easy to use, and it feels very premium. Dare I say it is approaching on Rokinon levels of fitment and refinement. Um, it is that good and coming from Makey, that is awesome. There, however, is one negative point and that is the price. This thing is $230, which is a bit on the pricey side when you are taking a look at a manual focus lens especially one from Makey, which is known for its budget-friendly offerings in the Sony E-mount lineup. If this lens was $150, I would tell everyone to go out and buy it, but at $230, you are very, very close, maybe $100 away from the Sigma 30mm f1.4, which, as we all know, is an amazing lens. It's definitely sharper than this thing. In fact, I took couple of sample photos side by side. And you can see that the Makey does keep up somewhat in the center, but as you move to the corners, the Sigma is definitely the sharper lens. As well as the bokeh, you'll notice a difference here in the fact that the Sigma 30 millimeter has nice and creamy bokeh balls versus the slightly outlined bokeh balls of the Makey lens. When you factor in the excellent resale value of the Sigma 30mm lens, as well as the excellent autofocus that's greatly improved with the new firmware update, um, the faster aperture at f1.4, better for low light, also creamier bokeh, and I prefer the 30mm focal length over the 25. This is the lens that I would recommend for most folks who have about $230 saved up. Wait a little bit more and get the Sigma, you'll be much happier with this. It's also a little bit smaller, lighter weight, easier to take with you if you're traveling. Um, so that is really my review of this thing. Very little negative to say about it, besides the fact that it is a little bit pricey for what it is. Now I do think that Makey was modeling this lens after a very expensive Zeiss 25 millimeter lens, and I do have to say that it performs well. The premium finish and fitment is something that I hope that Makey incorporates into all of its future lens offerings, because if this is what the future looks like for Makey, they're gonna be coming out with some amazing lenses in 2019. Um, so that is it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all of your likes, comments, and support. If you're interested in checking out more information about this lens or seeing if it goes on sale in the future, I'll post a link down below to Amazon, so check that out. Stay tuned for more. Have a fun day, Cyber Monday shopping, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.